Hey friends, I lost you there for a second. It's been terrible with the reception. I apologize, but I just got the phone doing uh, some training at HowToRinch.com on with a customer, and in the background, they kept noticing a bike uh, that I'm working on, and it really drew some questions. I thought this would be a cool little video and, and pass on some tips to you uh, for today. So check it out. What we've got here is this uh, little 250 Ninja. We're doing fork seals, and the thing I, I like to tell people is that anytime you can use um, you know leverage or, or means to make the job easier I mean go for it so first off I want to show you that this bike is super stable I mean it's not going anywhere you can see I have the rear wheel clamped I'm tied down back here nice and strong and the thing that was kinda I guess driving the customer crazy on how to wrench was he's like how do you have a jack on the bottom of the motor and I was explaining to him not on the exhaust system I'm actually on the motor itself and you can notice here I have clearance there's nothing hitting the jack. I'm just using a sacrificial piece of wood to get this thing up in the air to elevate it enough to be able to take the front end off. I mean, really, really slick way of doing this. And like I said, this bike is super, super solid. I can, you know, jerk on that like crazy and it isn't going anywhere. So that kind of drew some other questions to think about, well, what is it that, you know, how are you, he saw the one leg off and he said, geez, doesn't the service manual tell you to, to remove the whole fork tube? And it does, and I'm still going to. I'm still gonna take the fork out of the clamps here, and on this bike I have to, because I have to be able to fill the fluid back up on it. And there's no access on the bottom of the tube through a, like a drain bolt or whatnot. So you can see here that this is coming off anyway, and your question, or the customer's question was, well, why did I take this off right now? And what I like to do is I go ahead and I take my impact, and while this is fully assembled, I'll go ahead and I'll pull this bottom bolt out. That's, that's what's holding this outer tube and inner tube together. I'll pull that bottom bolt out and then pull the tube off. And the reason I'm doing that is this is so stable. Think about this. I'm using the triple trees to be my extra set of hands. Okay, I'm pinched, I'm locked in. I'm not doing a, a service on the triple tree itself. So I would have to take this whole tube and depending how much service you're gonna do, there's some phenomenal tools out there. I've got this set of aluminum jaws here where I can put round parts in there, but you can still see that there's nothing size better than the actual motorcycle itself to perfectly hold that tube, give you that extra set of hands. And I kinda like to call this like I'm getting all the hard work out of the way, if you will. I'm still, I'm still gonna have to, uh, quite a bit of technique, if you will, on changing fork seals. We got some specialty tools like seal drivers and things like that. But anyway, that's just my tip real quick was talking about, you know, how do you support a bike? You do not want to, you know, push up on the exhaust system. Find something rigid like the motor that's not going to bend on you. Stay away from your plastics. And then whenever possible, remove all fasteners that uh, can be held and secured nicely uh, by something, you know, like in this case, like the triple trees. So that is my tip at HowToRinch.com. Uh, please uh, head on over to uh, the website or the YouTube channel. Show us some love, and uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Bye. Keep wrenching.